Well, here's a nice piece of shit. Uh, there's a wolf track right here. I don't know if you guys can be able to see it. I can see it. Grab that and take it up on a ranch. This is out on a public road. The ranches are in between the two. Uh, wolf came down here. Must have been early this morning. Real early this morning. Gotta find a bag. Get that bag done. We'll make a set with it. That track right there. The original what I've seen coming in here. You can tell it's real fresh. So it rained here last night, and that's a I spotted that. I spotted that driving down the road, so I'm actually going to cut that track out, and I'm going to put that trap right where that track is. And I'll squirt that urine. Probably put a turd right there. You got one left, left dog turd. One dog turd left. I'm tired. Anyway, get that one set and then the other one will probably come right down here. Maybe. Right here. I might only get the three set. Just Getting wore out. Didn't do as much as I used to. It takes me all night to do what I used to do all night long. <laughs> oh. yeah, let's get setting. I'm gonna put a no uh, dead zone uh, Harris trap here. I did a video on this trap. It's a pretty neat. Oh, if you guys want, you can check that out. Uh, the actual, I met the guy that makes this trap. He's from Montana, and uh, he explains it real well how it works. And uh, so go check that video out. All right, I'm going to get set. There's the finish set. Put it right where that track was. Uh, dog crap. Here. Well, let's keep her fingers crossed. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> well, I don't know what we got, but we got something towed up in that first trap. The dog's going nuts. Anyway, we'll see if we can find it. Here's an elk track down here. It could be an elk, but we're going to check some traps. My dog's going to go nuts, so. Well, found what we were chasing around. Um, I think the other wolves got to him. Something there's hair everywhere, but there's three wolves. I just started setting last Thursday, and what's today? Saturday, so just over a week. That's three wolves. Well, I say something. I think the other wolves killed it. So that, there's another one. Keep after them. Hey, it's a male. And I just barely had it caught. With just a couple toes there in that hair, no dead zone. So anyway, that's why I couldn't hear any chains rattling anyhow. I'll get it taken care of. And um, yeah, there should be two or three more with this pack. I cut some fresh tracks back up the road here. So we'll get some more gear set. I gotta go to Southern Idaho though. So anywho. Keep after them. Well, got him loaded. That's a good sized wolf there too. I'm gonna go get a weight on him. Get him skinned out, take care of them. We'll come back up here and reset. Oh, hot, hot, hot. All right, be seeing you. Well, I just got a weight on that old male. He's uh, pretty skinny. Anyway, uh, wasn't doing very good, but it's old. You can look at his teeth, but I'll see he's right at. Right at 80 pounds. You hear that banging behind me? That's the cattleman's cows showing up. So we're trying to get ahead of this problem before it starts. We're on a good start. Well, I'm out at this spot I call the skinning tree. I got this parachute card here. Flip you around. Oh, so I'm gonna get carving on that feller. Yeah, he's skinny. 
old male though he's only 80 pounds um so anyway that's wolf number three the male out of the pack his balls had dropped um that out here where they killed that elk anyway there's water behind me we'll get him scanned up i'll show you in comparison to that other wolf i think i got video of it too just how thick these males are versus that female oh look how wide that thing is big animals get to work it didn't get hit must have been born around the side of the road here mama's right there she just had him right on the road she just had him Get off the road there, you're gonna get run over. My mama just had that baby. Got the it's all shaky. Stomp my, stomp me in the ground. We're gonna I'm gonna leave it right there either. He was walking, he was barely walking in the road when I come by. Mom's on the road now. This isn't a good situation. I can get this baby out of the road without getting stomped by Mama. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, get out of the road. Come on, get out of the road. I don't, I don't want to touch it and have mom not come back. Here she comes. <laughs> get out of the road. Come on. Come on, get out of the road. Come on, get out of the road. Mom's just right there. Mom's gonna come stomp me. Come on, get out of the road. So here, up there. Come on, baby. Get up. Come on, get up. You're gonna get ran over. Good. I don't know if I want to grab it and put it up over the fence because if you touch wild animals, sometimes mom will abandon it. But it's right on the side of the road here on 55. I don't know what to do. Come on, get out of there. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. All right, Mama. He's off the road. Yeah, that was kind of could have been a bad situation. Still could, I guess. Um, flip you around, sure. Hey, mom was standing right there. Yeah, after brushing. 
Crazy to have her. It's enough. Crazy to have her calf her out on the damn highway. That was a fresh one. Barely walked. Really shaky. Oh. I'm heading back to the ranch up here. There's a lot of elk out on it. Her calves are dropping apparently, so you know, well, the wolves are gonna be bears and everything. Else.